Hey guys, it's Liddy here and today I'm going to be reviewing the ComGrow 10 Watt Laser. So let's get started. Alright guys, so welcome back. I just want to state if this looks a little different, it is because I am actually using my iPhone 13 Pro because for some reason my camera has not been accepting any of my SD cards and I really need to get these videos out for you guys. So it's a little different if the audio is a little different. Um, that's why. But I really wanted to get this video out for you guys and show you how great this laser is. Now this laser again is a 10 watt laser. It was sent to me by ComGrow and um, as you guys might have seen in my last video um, of one of my other reviews for the lasers, I used an enclosure. It is the same brand and both of these products links will be down below in the description as always for you guys to check out and buy if you are interested. So let's get right into the video. I didn't do a build and I'm not gonna go over the software specifically. I'm not gonna go over the details and everything and setting it up on Lightburn. I have plenty of other videos on that, on my other reviews. So I just wanna get to um, engraving and cutting the materials that this machine can cut and show you guys how well it goes. So let's get on with the engraving and cutting. All right, so I've plugged in the machine and powered it up. Now I open Lightburn here, it is just a, um, normal file nothing special um, and as you might be able to hear in the background the machine's actually homing now this machine has its own homing software unlike the last um, machine i just reviewed it's pretty nice uh having end stops is definitely something you want so let's go and grab a file i'll do a similar one that i did last time it has a lot of detail to it and i think it's uh something nice to test out and uh, cut and engrave. So I'm gonna scale this down to about two inches. I'm gonna set it to an engrave just so we can um, get a quick test done. So I'm gonna highlight it in blue instead of black because I had black set to cut. And because we're gonna do the engrave, I'll do maybe one and a half inches instead just to get that smaller detail. And then all we are gonna have to do is make sure our settings are correct. So I'm going to um, engrave on wood and leather and some MDF. So I'm actually just going to keep the setting to 2000 millimeters per minute, one pass at 100 power. I always run these at 100 power and I know this is a very strong machine so I'm going to just see how well this goes. So to first start off I'm going to move the laser to the top of the wood because we don't want it to start right where it's at right now. And then I'm actually going to fire the laser on so that I can reposition the laser head. And then I'm going to set the height of the laser. Your laser is set to the right height. You want it about two millimeters away. Um, and this is about two or three millimeters. So I'm just going to use that piece. I don't believe the laser actually comes with anything that is um, the correct height. So I'm just going to use this piece of wood here. It'll work just fine and we'll see how well the detail comes out. So I'm going to um, press start and send the engraving. All right, so it has finished and I'm just gonna move it out of the way. And as you can see, the detail is actually really, really nice. I did pause it when it started down here and turn it up to 5,000 millimeters per minute. And as you can see, it looks great. It actually is inset even just a little bit. Um, you can see it was really burning here at 2000 millimeters per minute so that was way too slow this machine can go super fast um, and it's just got great great detail so i'm going to switch it over to the mdf and run it at the same settings at 5000 millimeters per minute um, i'm actually going to cut this one out as well so i have added a border to it to cut it out and we'll see how well that goes so after doing a little bit of testing and researching online to make sure that the cut will actually um, cut, as you can see, it did not cut here. And that was because I had the incorrect um, height away from the material. So it actually needs to be seven millimeters instead of two millimeters. So I just used two of these to set that height and it worked perfect. And this cut out here was at 250 millimeters per minute, 100% power and it took three passes. I believe I can do it in two, but now I'm gonna rerun this file, engrave it and cut it and see how well so it goes. So I'm gonna move this over. And I actually ran this one with only two passes. And as you can see, it just barely pops through. So three passes 
would work just great. Again, the engraving is really nice. I mean, that works pretty nice, but if you're doing something detail, then you definitely want um, an extra third pass on there. So now I'm gonna show you guys how deep this can actually cut. So according to the spreadsheet that they um, have on their website, this can cut up to seven millimeters um, and that's at 90 millimeters per minute. So I'm gonna stack these together. It's a little bit more than seven. See how well this can cut this and go from there. So I ran this one at 150 millimeters per minute with two passes because I didn't really want to go 90. So here's one layer. Um, here's the second one. Doesn't come out all the way, but it does have a little bit here and you can see it went through there. So, I mean, this machine can cut decently thick. Um, it just loses its focal point. Unlike some lasers like the Sculpt uh, Fun S9, that doesn't lose its focal point. Um, but it can clearly cut through this two millimeter um, plywood, which is really nice. I mean, and it's really clean cut, only one pass technically. This would go through one pass. Um, just nice qu cut quality. So the final thing I'm gonna try here is cutting some uh, leather. Now this is a normal thickness leather. And according to the website again, it should be run at 2000 millimeters per minute, 100% power. But instead, I'm going to run it as two passes with 1,000 millimeters per minute for each pass. Um, again, at 100% power and engrave um, it as well. So I'm going to do that little butterfly again and see how well um, it cuts and engraves on this leather. Okay, so the engraving is finished. took about five minutes. As you can see, that's pretty nice. And it almost cut through. If I added a couple more passes to that, would definitely cut through as you can see here it's just like the mdf was um but if you push hard enough it'll pop through but as you can see the engraving here wow is just amazing just as good as this test one that was sent on this material it's a great quality and i definitely believe this machine can cut this leather all right guys so that is it for the video um i really hope you guys enjoyed it uh, i just want to say that there are a lot more materials that this machine can cut and if you want to know all those materials and especially even engraving as well, there will be a link down below to the, in the description um, to their website, which tells you all the settings you need to know for each material on this 10 watt laser. Um, and I have followed those uh, settings as well, I tweaked them just a little bit to um, make sure there was less burning. Like I mentioned, I added a couple extra passes at a faster speed. I also want to say that this machine can engrave glass and metal. I've seen a lot of people just paint the glass black first and then engrave it. However, I didn't show that because I wanted to stick to the um, quality that it does when it cuts. I just want to show you guys how well and how easy it cuts. It's very similar, in my opinion, to the Sculpt Fun S9 um, in the quickness that it can cut, not necessarily how deep it can cut, but um, the ease that it has when trying to cut a material, especially MDF. A lot of people like to cut MDF, so this is um, great for that as well. And of course, engraving most materials, um, it works as well, especially leather. I know there's a lot of leather workers out there or just people who want to make a little bit of money on custom engraving some things. Um, this machine, again, is wonderful. I will have a link to it down below in the description. This is, again, the 10 watt version. There is a 5 watt version for a little bit cheaper, but I would definitely go out and get the 10 watt version. It's really great. And another plus that it has, again, is those end stops that a lot of lasers these days don't have. Um, so the end stops are a great addition. There's no safety features, but it is a great machine if you are a hobbyist and you want to use it in your shop or just in your work area. It is great to use easy to use. Again, I will have a link down below to the light burn software that I use. It's super easy. I would recommend going finding videos on that. There are a lot of uh, tutorial videos and it really is just an easy software to use, um, especially when you have an easy machine to use just to plug in and play. And I hope to be getting out more videos, having a new puppy. This is Maple, the shop dog. She is a golden retriever and she may be in some of the videos depending on where they're located. She is not affected by any tools or any smoke or anything. So she's gonna be the new shop dog and just working around my new house that I have. So I will do my best to get videos up for you guys um, and hopefully have new uh, lasers being sent in. But other than that, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.